Have you heard about the InfoCar OBD2 car monitoring device? It is an easy tool which you can use to help diagnose any potential faults in your vehicle or just simply use it to keep a record on your vehicle status or driving pattern. Here, we have the product inside the original retail packaging, let's proceed to unbox the product. I will do a quick tutorial and review on how this product works and how you can use it to help diagnose any potential faults in your vehicle when you are using your vehicle. Inside the box, you will find, one user guide, to help you set up the InfoCar OBD2 monitor, along with the InfoCar OBD2 monitor device itself, a very minimalist product, packed really nicely together. On first look, you can see that the InfoCar product is really nicely designed in the form factor of an OBD2 port, good straightforward design that you can just plug in and use right away. The compact design makes it easily portable and doesn't occupy much space in your car even when in use. Just plug and play. To start off, you can simply download the InfoCar app from your device's app store. The download will start and complete in a few minutes, once done, simply open the app, you will be loaded onto the landing page where you can sign in and create a new account. You can input your vehicle key details like make, model, engine capacity, year etc. This is to set up your vehicle profile. Once installed, head over to your vehicle and install the OBD2 monitor into your vehicle. In most vehicles, the OBD2 port is located below or beside your steering wheel. In my case, it is underneath my steering wheel, right near the car pedals. Simply plug the OBD2 monitor into the OBD2 port. When installed, the InfoCar OBD2 monitor will light up and flash, signaling it is powered up and ready to pair with your app. The installation is easy and straightforward. Now head over back to your app, connect to the InfoCar OBD2 monitor over Bluetooth, where you will be able to wirelessly set it up without hassle. Just look how easily it is not connected to my smartphone over the InfoCar app. One feature I love and find really useful is the vehicle diagnosis function, I can easily use it to diagnose any potential issues relating to the vehicle I am driving. As you see, after the scan has completed the InfoCar OBD2 monitor has detected everything is normal on my car, however when I scroll down, it has detected three fault codes which can be useful especially if you are a DIY mechanic, you can check out any potential issues with your vehicles with the vehicle diagnosis feature. Track your driving records too. Like your fuel efficiency rating, fuel consumption and many more details, you can track your driving style rating to see your driving ratings, in safe and eco mode. As you see I got 99.9 .9 for my driving rating in safe mode. In eco mode, I got I got around 50 points, not that good. Great feature to help you monitor your driving style. With the InfoCar OBD2 car monitoring device, you can monitor your engine status too. Like the temperature, pressure, load of the engine etc. These data are important especially if the levels are abnormal, you can see the figures and act appropriately by sending the car to the workshop, such data is good to help diagnose any engine troubles. There is a driving dashboard which is really useful as all key data is loaded into a single page where you have easy access to it, like right here, I am idling the vehicle, for a short while and the OBD2 monitor will alert me to shut down the car if I am not using instead of idling, a good thing to help improve the environment and improving fuel efficiency by not idling. As you see on the main dashboard, all the figures are moving as I am driving and during that timing, it shows the RPM, speedometer, engine load and many more key stats of the vehicle. There is also a head-up display feature where you can use it to see your speed compass, and RPM, good if you have a HUD kit in your car to use it. Other than the main data table on the dashboard, you can access more detailed data by sliding onto another panel in the monitoring section, here as you see. There are many other data that can be used to diagnose any potential faults in my vehicle. This is a really comprehensive list of specs on my vehicle status. View the integrated graph on the app to see the data history of your RPM, engine load, throttle position and many more. Overall, I find the InfoCar OBD2 monitor a really useful tool especially if you are a car enthusiast or a mechanic who would like a device to help you get to know your car better and diagnose any potential faults in your vehicle easily without the need for any complicated computers or software, as you can access key data on your vehicle with the InfoCar app, which I tried it out and was super easy to set up, use and analyze data on my vehicle. If you would like to know more about the InfoCar OBD2 monitor, find out more in the description. Thank you for watching. 